Hello friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we are going to see REST API modeling language part 2. In part 1, we have walked through a basic concept of RAML. So basically, we have tried to understand what is the HTTP method, what is URI param, what is the query params. We also start writing some RAML, like you know, uh, we have written some endpoints using the RAML. We have designed the RAML. We have also seen, gone through like how we can enable the mocking service to test our uh, RAML to, to get the feedback from our RAML. Then we have also published our RAML to any point exchange, right? And so these are the things we have done in our previous video. But in previous video, we haven't handled the error codes. In this video, we are going to see how we can handle uh, error codes and how we can reuse the code you know so instead of writing a duplication of code how we can avoid writing duplication of code using threads so we will going to use the threads and we will see how we can handle the error response or error codes in our raml so i have written this particular raml in our last video now what i will do i will create a one folder under example which is new file i can say other sorry it's not new file first i will create a folder so i it's better to keep a separate folder for error response i will simple i will say error response then you can use new file then i can say go to other the first response code i want to handle that is 400.json second 401 then I will go with third I will use the other 401 then 404 this is our all, all client errors so the error which start with 400 known as a client error so basically we getting this error from the clients side so some mistake done from the client end basically so now 500 this is related to server so if there's any issue on the server side we get the 500 error so now i will define the json message so i can say error message something i can say message is incorrect or bad request this is the error handling also i can say status code simply i can say 400 bed request something like that okay so copy this define same thing for 401 here i will change the status code to 401 unauthorized accessing unauthorized resources okay copy this go to 404 I will change this no need to delete completely I can say not found so you can say resources not okay next thing 500 you can see 500 internal server error here I can mention internal server error okay so these are the response I have defined now I will go to my banking parent or root file and I will de start defining the error response code at the same level where we have defined 201 so I can say 400 I can say body you can say application slash json then I can say example I can say include exam slash error response 
slash 400 dot json okay copy this and like enter go at the end paste it I will change the file name also this is 401 okay so now the now what's let me check the post and you can see in the post you can see different uh, response code message bad request like the 401 will be unauthorized you know like that so I can see the error response code but now my problem is that I have to co copy this code and I have to write with all the resources if you see uh, for get you will not see this error response code you don't have this error response code does it looks good I keep on writing this error response code for each and every uh, endpoint it doesn't make sense right I am just writing this duplication of the code if I copy here you know s something like this and I go in this So now you can see the error response for get also like let me show get so you can see but I have to copy it to every resources I don't want to do that I want to reuse this so I will make use of threads so what is threads so thread is like a function is used to define the common attri attributes for HTTP method like get put post patch delete in this case this all the response code is a common attributes such as a whether or not they are filterable searchable or pageable so basically it's kind of function in any other language so you write your common code into that function and you call that function right so same thing we will going to do that so for calling the function or for calling the thread in the actual or root ramal we use the keyword is i will show you how we can do that so let me remove this code I don't want this code here I will cut down this code okay from post also I don't want to handle my error codes here I will create one new folder which is known as a threads I generally keep all the threads in same folder now under threads I will create one new file of type threads so you can say thread I can say error thread create in error thread you can say responses I want to define my responses and paste it here you have to align everything So it's kind of YAML file. Now I'm getting this error because the threads and the example folder at the same level. So I can use dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash. Okay. So I have completed my all the threads this is how I, I write the thread now I can go to a main file in main file what you can do at the top you know you can say threads something now you can declare declare a function like a variable something like that error message or error response response something like that doesn't matter name then you can say include you can say threads slash error thread dot ramal this is how you access a thread into your ramal file 
okay how can we access it here either you can use the is keyword here is and give this error response or either you can put it here also at the end of 201 but let's keep it here only so I can use after post same thing I can use after get easy now you just have to write this small code for each method so now you are able to access like a function right so for account ID also we required it so it's available for everything now if I check the method for get you should see this see I have an error response for code right for each and every method simple so we are able to reuse the code using a threads you can see that right so so now what I will do I will publish we have already published one version of uh, to the exchange now I will publishing the version 2 to the exchange so whenever you do any changes keep publishing your RAML to the exchange when you saying like when you are everything is okay so now asset version will increase by one version published to exchange it's published to exchange successfully if I go to exchange now you will see the two version this is my banking API you can see the version 1.0 and the latest version is 1.0.1 .1. okay you can make this or like you can deprecate or delete that version also okay so you can do that apart from that let me check the endpoints let me check the post now in this your API documentation you will see the response codes error response code also like 201 is successful error 401 401 unauthorized like you know 404 500 like that with each and every endpoint right so see you can see that so how effectively effectively we have used the code reuse using the thread right and we and we are also able to you know like uh, add the error response code so that is easy for consumer to understand what kind of error code I can get from the API right and what is the message format and all those things and and also like thread can be used for multiple purpose we will see going forward in upcoming video I hope you like the video thanks for watching if you like the video please click on like and the subscribe button